If you're hiking in the Wasatch Front, there's a lots of really great options, but one of the most popular trails in the valley is the Bonneville Shoreline Trail. And the reason for this is because there's so much trail that you can hike. So when I did it, I went on a run, so pardon the heavy breathing um, and the shaky camera. I parked on a street called Colorado Road, which is off of Wakara Way, and there's some temporary parking there that you can park without having to pay, which is pretty awesome. And you just kind of hike up until you find a really thick, wide trail. When I hiked this trail, I hiked the Salt Lake to Parley's section of the trail up by the university. And it's a really incredible trail because it's nice and wide. And that means a lot of different people can use it. You can have bikers, you can have hikers, you can have walkers, you can have runners, you can have people with their dogs, all utilizing the same space, which is pretty incredible. When I hiked before in the Wasatch Front, either on a bike day or a dog day or a both day, it can make the trail pretty crowded and, and feel a little dangerous. And so having these ultra wide trails is really nice in this area. And that's what I noticed when I was hiking. The elevation of this trail is about 5,100 feet because this is the shoreline of an ancient lake. And this ancient lake, Lake Bonneville, Bonneville Shoreline Trail, makes sense, right? This ancient lake was, lake was at its maximum depth and maximum height about 16,000 years ago. And it covered about 20,000 square miles of Utah, which is a lot of space. It even went over into Nevada, a little bit into Idaho, and went almost all the way south to Beaver, Utah, which if you're familiar with Utah is kind of far from Salt Lake City. It's almost all the way down to St. George, Cedar City, or Las Vegas area, if you know Nevada and Las Vegas a little better than southern Utah. <laughs> um, anyway, so this this lake was really, really full. And about 14,500 years ago, a natural dam that was holding all this water back broke and the lake level dropped to uh, a much lower level. And a lot of that water flooded out down to the Columbia River Gorge and cut a lot of the Columbia River Gorge. This is a lot of water that's coming out at this time and it's all coming out at once because of the natural dam that broke. And it cuts a lot of the Columbia River Gorge that we now see today and headed out to the Pacific Ocean. And as the climate changed, the lake level slowly started moving down and down until the Great Salt Lake, which is what we have today. It has the potential to be a very, very long trail. Right now, there's more than 100 miles of trail and there are some planned and proposed trail that they are building along the mountainside. This gives the opportunity to have some really amazing recreation area and a low, low impact recreation all across the valley. And right now, on the west side of the valley, we have some really awesome mountains called the Ochre Mountains. And they are really being used because there aren't a lot of low impact trails over there. And if the Bonneville Shoreline Trail could do the shoreline of, the, of Lake Bonneville, then that would be a really incredible opportunity to get a lot of people who live in that area uh, the ability to 
have places that they can hide close to home, which would be pretty incredible. Dang, I'm gonna run out of shirts. <laughs> All right. Pretty cool. 100 miles. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to put that in. All right.